your live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Jane, that is fantastic news. A Harvey dumped some 50 inches of rain over Houston, our nation's fourth largest city. That's important because there's so many people there, so much asphalt, so much concrete, that rainwater has nowhere to go, so it sits and piles up. This is why this has been so impactful for that area. A year's worth of rain. Folks, this is just unprecedented. Uh, the single greatest rainfall totals in U.S. history for the lower 48 states. I think Hawaii's had a little bit more. Uh, look at this system. It's making a second landfall now over the Louisiana-Texas border by midnight tonight, and then it races up the coast, or up the inland, I should say, up the Mississippi River Valley as it moves into Tennessee. It'll bring rain. Uh, not only there, but it's so strong that it's pulling up moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. We will have showers starting tomorrow indirectly related to Harvey. Watching this system right now, 50 mile per hour winds as it gets closer to Tennessee, just a remnant low with uh, gusty winds up to 30 miles per hour. The severe aspect of it will be done, but we will get some pretty good rainfall impacting that holiday weekend. Let me show you the latest Future Plus forecast here. You can see the, the center of circulation will move over Louisiana, but yet it's so strong that it's pulling in a lot of moisture from the south. We'll see some pretty good scattered showers starting tomorrow afternoon on again off again through Saturday. The greatest rain looks to be here Friday and Saturday. Bad news. I know high school football. We've got Clemson. We've got uh, Georgia. We've got South Carolina. We've got Wofford and Furman all at home or playing around our area on Saturday. Certainly impacts with rain through each game. Uh, rainfall totals look to be the greatest along the coast here, but here at home we're going to see some three to five inches across the area. I'm not too concerned about flooding just because it's going to be spread out over three days. So uh, that's good news. The washout index looks like this. A washout on Friday and Saturday. Not an all day event, but on again, off again rain basically all day long. Sunday into Monday looks like your best day if you want to do any kind of grilling outdoors or be out by the pool or the lake. Uh, potential tropical cyclone 10, no more of a concern for us. Gave a lot of rain for Charleston and Myrtle Beach. The thing here is it's moving toward the northeast at 24 four miles per hour, which is booking it for a tropical system. It's been caught up by the jet stream, which in part has torn the system up, never really allowed it to become anything significant or strong, so no concerns there. We are, however, watching another system in the middle of the Atlantic, which is set to become a hurricane within the next few days as it moves toward the west. It's still seven to ten days away from being any kind of threat to the United States or even the Lesser Antilles Islands. We'll be watching it closely, though, because the models do show it approaching Category 1 strength by the weekend. Watch it closely as it moves into the Gulf or the Caribbean later on. Uh, live Super Doppler 4 HD showing mostly dry conditions across the upstate, but we do have heavy rainfall across Transylvania County. Temperatures, though, comfortable. We're in the mid to upper 70s. Overnight, lows will fall to the lower 60s. Cloudy skies for tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies. Rain chances ramping up by late in the day. A 70% chance by the evening hours for the mountains. A 40% chance by 6. Uh, 70% chance by 10 p.m. Four day plus looks like this. We'll see a pretty good chance for rain tomorrow, Thursday and Friday into Saturday, especially looking better though for Sunday and it warms up Labor Day itself. Partly cloudy skies and 87.